thank you. We give you praise for your awesome presence that is mighty and majestic here today. Thank you for gathering us to yourself. Unto you is the gathering of your people. We are asking, oh God, in this few minutes, as we begin to look into your word, that you will speak to our heart. Lord, you will bless every participant in this service. We are asking, oh God, that you open our eyes to behold wondrous things out of your word. Lord, minister to every need, every desire. Lord, it's Christmas, and we know it's about your love for us. So I'm asking, oh God, that you will heal the sick. You will deliver the oppressed. You will give direction to the confused. Strength for the weak. Glorify the name of your son, Jesus. We claim salvation of soul for the lost in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't leave any of us the same way we came. Let there be miracles. Let there be signs and wonders. Holy Spirit, move unhindered and glorify the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And all of God's people say, believe in amen. Hallelujah. Merry, Merry Christmas to every one of us. Amen. I welcome you to church this morning, this Christmas morning. What a joy to be in God's presence. I welcome those on Zoom. I welcome you online, uh, YouTube, Facebook, FM TV Live, wherever you're watching from. We're glad you're on. Amen. If you're watching on YouTube, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that anytime we come on, you can be notified. If you're watching on FM TV Live, our 24 hour, seven days a week, Faith and Miracle TV Network. We encourage you to keep watching. And in case you're not aware, we have a 24 hours of Faith and Miracle TV network. It's called fmtvlive.com. We want you to go there and watch any day, anytime on your phone, computer, laptops, anywhere in the world. You can always get a word from God. Amen. Good to see you all this morning. You look all look like Christmas. Are you excited? Amen. To be in God's presence. Well, I have a word from God for us today. Um, a word tailored made for you. Amen. Made the Lord made for us on this Christmas day. I'm so excited we're having Christmas service today. Amen. Thank God for my beloved sister. Looking for a place. I love people who love to be in God's presence. Amen. Glory be to God. So we're grateful. We're grateful for what God is said to do. Let's look at the scripture here in Isaiah chapter number nine, verse six to seven. We're going to read that scripture again and we're going to see. We heard something about it in the church. We're going to see some even. Uh, more interesting and amazing things there for us. Amen. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. Can we all stand and just feel like Christmas? Amen. Praise God. All right. We're going to read together, but we have, um, please read, read for us, Pastor. Then we read, we read along. Everybody just read. One to go. For unto us. Read on, everybody. Uh -huh. a, uh -huh. a child is born. Unto us, unto us, a son is given. A son is given, and the government, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called. And his name shall be called. Wonderful, wonderful, counselor, counselor, the mighty God, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the everlasting, the Father, Prince of Peace, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of the increase of his government of his government and peace and peace there shall be no end there shall be no end upon the throne of david upon the throne of david and upon his kingdom and upon his kingdom to order it to order it and to establish it and to establish it with judgment with judgment and with justice and with justice from henceforth from henceforth even forever even forever the zeal of the lord the zeal of the Lord of hosts, of hosts will perform this. We perform this. Amen. Well read. God bless you. Please take your seat. I want to talk to us from, uh, from God's word of the increase of his government and your government, there shall be no end. Of the increase of his government and your government, there shall be no end. You see, um, Jesus Christ, when he came to the earth, he came on a mission, and he has four unique, distinct, uh, distinct mission that God ordained him to accomplish in Scripture. A whole lot of time, many of us don't even know what Christ is. Some people celebrate what they don't, what the, they don't know what they are celebrating. But I'm trusting God that in these few minutes, without being too uh, deep and technical, I'll be able to pass across to you from God's Spirit the mission of Jesus Christ that he came to accomplish accomplish for our benefit if you read the scripture one of the most interesting thing there you're going to see in in that scripture it says for unto us a child is born don't miss the word us unto us 
a child is born, unto us a son is given. So Jesus is all about us. I know we like to say it's all about him, but he is also saying it's all about us. Hello, somebody. God is all about us. God is interested in people. God loves people. God loves us. Everything in the world was created for man. Hello, somebody. Yeah, God exists for us, and he wants us to exist for him. Hello, somebody. So Jesus came to fulfill, you know, four uh, cardinal mission that very essential. Number one, he came to reveal God's love to us. Yeah, Jesus is the expression of God's love for us. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So it was his love for us that sent, that brought Jesus to the earth. Jesus was comfortable in heaven, but God knew we were not comfortable. So we needed a comforter. We needed comfort. We needed help. So God sent Jesus to the earth. So Jesus came for us. Somebody say, it came for me. Yeah. Or say like, say, it came for me. So Jesus is the manifestation of the love of God. We're going to read some scriptures in 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. It says, uh, in this was manifested the love of God towards us that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Hello, somebody. So Jesus is the manifestation of the, of the expression of the love of God for us. And that's the only reason we can live a great life, an abundant life, you know. Uh, that's what the Bible says. He that has Christ has life. He that has not Christ has no life. There's a difference between existing and living. There are people who are existing, but they are not living. Until you have Christ, you cannot begin to live. Living with a purpose. Living, living the best life. And I want to pray and prophesy. You begin to live your best life in the name of Jesus Christ.